Windows shot out already. Yep, yep. Okay, got I one. Have a smoke grenade. No, no, I got one. Got one through the window. One X scope. Nice. Pushing. With easy peasy, shady shot. No way! No way! I tried to shoot him in time. How did you die? Oh my god. Hey and welcome, farm rush mode. So I have to admit that on the first day when I was trying it, with blunt honesty, I didn't like it. So I think Northridge Hotel, which we had in season one, was nice and exciting, small map. It was something new. And then even second season Armory Rush. I actually enjoyed that a lot because of the size of the map. And then in season three, I was expecting port or eventually TV station, but TV station, not that much. Eventually farm the restricted area, eventually stables and motel maybe. And no, we got a normal farm as rush mode and there was nothing special about it. So I felt like that, okay, maybe this season I'm just not gonna do rush mode. But then two days later, I went back to figure out how I can beat this map and have a strategy which I can share with you all, which I'm gonna do in this video. My base assumption is gonna be that you are going to pick the cheapest loadout or eventually the advanced one. So if you are a player playing with the highest loadout, the premium loadout maybe 150k then you know i guess you know your thing and uh you know what you're doing but generally speaking i think that 70 80 percent of players pick the cheapest loadout 20 25 is the advanced one and like five percent the premium one all right time to check the strategy on how to beat this map and actually it starts in the lobby because for some weird reason, it feels like that the auto team option is not enabled in this game mode. Maybe it's just me, but I tried playing a couple of games and if there is nobody in my lobby, so no team, then I'm gonna be alone. And I quickly realized that I'm facing duos, trios and full squads. So I decided to join an existing lobby and basically start the game with a full team or at least three players. You have that quick join option on the right hand side and in this game mode it doesn't really matter who your teammates are because they are definitely not going to steal your loot it just makes sense we play this game mode to uh, grind rank points so having random teammates is much better than being solo because it just doesn't make sense maybe sometimes it's going to happen that they steal your kill but it's hard to predict what would happen in that situation if you are alone. So playing with randoms and staying alive is much better than keep playing solo and keep dying because you're gonna keep losing your rank points. I know it's a bit of a self-promotion, but at this point, I gotta ask you that, guys, join my Discord. There are some nice people and you can find teammates so you don't need to run solo. So join my Discord. And on that note, if you are playing with people you know or eventually talk, it's going to be even smoother. Yesterday, I met two chats from US and actually in the lobby, they were surprised that I'm a creator and I played one game with them. It went very smooth and then they invited me back for the next game. Unfortunately, we didn't play more because it was already 3 a.m. for me, but with them being on the team, one was ace, the other guy was legend. I guess the legend guy was carrying the ace. But anyways, with them being in the lobby, it was almost too easy to survive. Get two or three kills and then extract. So having teammates is definitely gonna help you surviving in this game mode. And the goal would be to have at least one kill or two kills is more optimal. If you're gonna have three kills or four or above, then it's excellent. But after two kills, you could eventually consider exiting, extracting and start a new game. Because if you get 100 rank points or close to 100, that's perfectly fine. That should be enough for one game. And then you restart and then do it all over again. I only played a couple of games and um, I collected five or six stars. 
So it definitely works. I mean, this rush mode, it works. An interesting thing about this game mode is that I realized that the bots don't seem to be from normal mode. It feels like that we have lockdown bots um, in a normal farm. So what I'm trying to say is that they are having good armor, T3, T3 um, helmet and armor, AKM with purple bullet. So you can pick that up because if you are choosing the cheap equipment, then the equipment you can grab from the bots is actually better than your starting gear. If you are playing with the advanced kit, you can still do that because you're going to have a secondary weapon and who knows, maybe it's going to help you. Maybe you run out of ammunition and you can quickly swap your secondary weapon. So it's definitely worth looting the bots in this game mode. And now that I mentioned looting, let me explain something. You loot stuff that you are planning to use during the game. So you don't loot stuff you want to extract with because this game mode is not designed for gathering stuff and making money. An important message to all operators and soldiers. You have to know, Shady Fox is wrong. It has been confirmed that there is valuable loot in farm rush mode by Said, Yusef and many others. So grab those keys, put them into action because you're gonna find red lions, command cards, keys and much more. See you on the battlefield soldier and don't forget to subscribe and join the Shady Fox squad. If you don't, I'm gonna make sure that one of the black shady hackers is gonna get into your account and wipe your whole inventory. So please, subscribe. If you find search kits, pick them up because you can never know when you're gonna need them. Um, bad kits, same story. So put all the stuff into your bag which could be useful still in the game. Very important thing, if you are doing a kill, then pick up the dog tag, okay? because most likely that's the extract you're gonna use. There is an extract near to the motel and the requirement is to have one single dog tag. Don't forget that, just make it a habit that after the first kill, pick up the dog tag because that's going to ensure that you can get out of the map. If you don't have any kills and still wanna extract for kinda any reason, then use the no backpack extract in the middle of the map. It just doesn't make sense to run to the other side of the map. You're gonna lose tons of time during the time you could actually restart and um, do a new game. Exception if you are hearing gunshots. If you are hearing gunshots and you didn't do any killing yet, then obviously head over to that side, try to find those players, get a kill and in that case can extract on the other side. I kept turning into that direction because in my head I was like visualizing that we are on the trade center side and then running towards like motel and then villa but it doesn't actually matter on which side you are only run to the other side of the map if you don't have enough kills otherwise stop in the middle of the map and then take the motel extract or the no backpack extract. Consider this map as I am investing 30k to boost my rank points or I'm investing 60k to boost my rank points. So there's nothing you can lose. And even if you extract, what are you actually doing with those guns? In most cases, I just you know, sell it to the contact. So don't, don't play this with the fear of losing stuff. This is really a game mode where you can put that fear of losing stuff off your shoulders. Don't do that. You have really nothing to lose here except the buy-in, the, the buy-in money. But since you pay that upfront, it doesn't actually matter if you extract or not. I truly hope that you're gonna reach the rank you wanna reach still in season three. The season ends, by the way, on the 11th of April, or actually that's the day when the new season comes. So we know that in the last week, we're gonna have double rank points, but you can start playing this game mode, get familiar with it, and then by the time we get to the last week, you can clearly evaluate whether if it's realistic or not to achieve the rank you wanna achieve. For me, when I started playing the game mode, I was ace five, I don't know how many stars, and after five-ish games, I went up to ace four, three stars or something. So 
if I would continue the grind and get myself up to A3 by the time we get to the last week of the season, then definitely I could become legend. Actually, I would be interested to hear, do you want me to become legend? Do you think it's a requirement for creators to become legend? Or is it just, you know, nice to have? I would be happy to hear your opinion on that. Anyways, happy shooting. Shoot, loot, subscribe. Join my Discord, subscribe, give this video a like, and um, enjoy the game. See you next time. JD out. Bye.